we've got a secret for you. You don't need fancy graphic design software or expensive equipment to make graphics that will make your social media pop and increase your engagement. All you need is the magic of Canva. Sure, maybe you've heard of Canva, and we can always tell when someone uses their templates. So the question remains, how can your nonprofit use this affordable and accessible tool while creating unique graphics that will increase your social media engagement and impact? Hi, my name is Carisha, one of the digital advertising whalers here at Whole Whale. You might also recognize me from the Whole Whale podcast and Whole Whale University webinars. And if you like what I have to say, make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications. If you're watching this video, you're probably looking for new and creative ways to look, level up your social media graphics. Whether you're a social media intern or a seasoned professional looking to dabble in graphic design, Howell is always looking for new ways to help nonprofits stand out and increase their impact. Canva is a super affordable and accessible tool that anyone can use to create graphics, but we don't want you to look like everyone else. You know what we mean, templates that look super familiar to what that other organization is always posting. We want you to be unique. That's why we have the secrets to creating unique content that will get your engagement rates on the up and up. So here are five tips to take your templates from generic to on brand and outstanding. One, use the appropriate specs. One of the most common ways we see organizations screw up their graphics is not using the appropriate spec sizes. Spec sizes are the size and shape of your graphic. Think of it as the same way we use paper to print. You wouldn't use 8.5 by 11 printer paper to print your business cards, so you shouldn't use a square spec size for your Facebook page cover photo. When it comes to beautiful graphics, it's not a one-size-fits-all. If you're posting to Instagram, make sure you're using a 9 by 16 ratio for your stories. However, we understand that you may be pressed for time. If you're looking for a one-size-fits-all, we always recommend using a square size photo. This size usually works best on all avenues. Two. Upload your brand logo and colors. Canva makes it really easy to upload your organization's logo and brand colors so that they are easily accessible to you while you make your graphics. Using your brand colors takes what looks like a generic template into something that your followers can associate with your organization. Add a brand logo and you're well on your way to making your images stand out. Three, make your call to action impossible to miss. Your organization should be thinking of social media as an extension of your digital strategy. In other words, all of your social media posts should have a goal for what you want your followers to do when they see it. Whether it's making a donation, signing up for your newsletter, or simply dropping a comment, make sure that you have a call to action that is impossible to miss on all of your graphic content. This makes it easy for your followers to understand what you want their next steps to be without having to look through the fine print of the caption. Make sure your call to action is direct, succinct, and actionable to be on your way to increasing your social engagement. Four, recognize the power of dark mode. Recently, many users have had the option to change the color of their mobile and desktop interface to go from an all right background to dark backgrounds. We're looking at you, dark mode Twitter. In fact, we've all heard the praise that dark mode has. It's easier on the eyes, can extend your battery, and honestly, it's just aesthetically pleasing. Think about your platform's interface as you create your graphics. Will your graphic pop on both light and dark mode, or will its darker or white backgrounds blend into everything else? Number five, make sure you're testing. We've given you some great tips on how to improve your graphic content and move away from generic templates. But the only way to truly see if these tips are working is to continuously test what you're posting on your social platforms. Play around with colors for dark mode, test adding a logo to your graphic and trying different spec sizes. We understand that every organization's audience is different and not everything will work for everybody. Try some of our tips and tricks and let us know how they're going in the comments. Also, make sure you're looking at your social media analytics to see improvements after you've implemented these tips to see how they're performing. Never set it and forget it. Then take those numbers back to your supervisor and show them exactly how you're increasing engagement and driving impact for your org's mission. Speaking of, give this video a like and subscribe. For more resources, check out Whole Whale University for our templates if you're looking for a place to start. And also check out some of our free resources and other ways to improve your social media presence.